Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is an interesting thing, a topic that we've actually discussed on this channel before. Kind of two parts to this, one of which is that commercial real estate is not doing too well. Now, I, I've spoken about this in relation to Los Angeles, which is the market I work in, the stats and the information that I get based here. But I know that it is more of a national issue that is occurring, mainly because of the fact that a lot of these commercial spaces, especially office space, is not being used. Um, we have kind of transitioned, I think, after the pandemic into a lot more work from home and a lot less of less people are coming into the office five days a week, need a dedicated uh, desk or office space. And so a lot of uh, these commercial landlords are finding themselves in difficulty, mainly because they just have a lot of vacancy. Now, a point that I've made in the past is that combined with the fact that we have a lack of supply of residential real estate, namely um rental units you know apartments is uh kind of like a win-win situation that could occur here where i thought that actually we would see commercial buildings being converted into residential units so that you have residential units uh increasing the supply hopefully driving prices down a bit because some of the areas in la the average price for a one bed per month is twenty eight hundred dollars which is a crazy amount of money for a one bedroom apartment so if you can increase that supply obviously uh if the demand stays where it's at the prices should hopefully come down uh, and you're having less issues where people are being driven as far away from their work and you know where they need to be living uh, so they're doing huge commutes etc so apparently there is a, uh, a company in Dallas called Blue Lofts uh, they are trying to raise a hundred million dollars to convert empty office space uh, across multiple markets I think that's mainly in Dallas uh, into 3,000 workforce housing units so that's police uh, fire fire brigade etc uh, etc et um, and that is going to be obviously in these locations where hopefully it's going to be quite close to where these people work. I think a lot of these jobs that they're trying to um, provide affordable housing for are quite location based. So that is an interesting kind of trend that we've seen. I haven't seen that much of it in Los Angeles. I'm sure there is some of that going on. Uh, and actually, I did hear about a company doing that recently. I can't remember the market it is in. I'll touch on that in another video. But uh, it's an interesting trend that we are seeing. Apparently, also, the Biden administration has called for an acceleration of funding of office to residential conversions. So now the federal government is getting involved in that and the president's speaking about it. So it definitely seems to be a trend that we're going to see increase. It's going to be very interesting to see how fast that goes, whether, you know, $100 million raised for this is going to be an easy thing to do or if they struggle to do that because investors don't necessarily see the returns or, you know, the opportunity that could be there. I think personally that could be a really, really good investment for people. But obviously, I think it's it's going to depend on the individual, the market especially, you know, is there demand there for that? Um, and so apparently the Department of Transportation has released guidance in October on how $35 billion in funding could be tapped for conversions near public transport. Obviously, if it's it's around public transport that is better for affordable housing. I think this is also an interesting model with Blue Lofts in Dallas, because obviously they're saying 3000 units, uh, but 50% of it's affordable housing. So it probably allows the investor in there to be like, look, it's not just affordable housing where it's going to be the lowest rent possible. There are also going to be very well positioned uh, rental units, which probably will generate a good income. And that's what people who are going to invest in this fund are really looking for. Uh, if it's private investors, you know, they want to make money. Um, and so in Dallas alone, apparently they need about 20,000 more affordable units. Um, and there are investors who are showing interest. That's kind of what the um, what the directors of this company has said. So apparently they've had a five year experience with doing this. Um, so, you know, it's it's probably something they've started doing prior to the pandemic and prior to this trend accelerating that we've seen. So they're very, in a very good position, it seems. And I expect that if they do well in Dallas, uh, they're going to probably expand to other markets in different cities. But I think it's something we need in Los Angeles, especially in the west side of Los Angeles. There's a lot of traffic to get here from people who can't afford to work here. Uh, so 
you know, the prices, as I've said, are insane. Uh, and so I think that that needs to be something that happens. London, another market that I used to work in and where I'm from, I think that could be a similar situation where we see that, but I'm not as aware of how the residential market is doing in comparison to the retail commercial side. I know residential has got very expensive over the last two years. If you've got input on that and you'd like to kind of tell me because you work in those markets, I really appreciate it. But I know as well it's more kind of zoned uh, and that can be the case with LA as well. But if you're in a commercial kind of office space, um, there are areas of London which are more dedicated to that. Uh, a lot of the previous kind of, you know, areas where you've got residential do often just get converted to residential or have been. And so you almost have residential hubs and then commercial hubs. But obviously, you know, it could be changing. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope you find this interesting. I hope you find it of use. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, etc., I say it every, every day. So it would be amazing if you could leave a comment below. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll be back on Monday with another video. Speak to you soon. Goodbye.